Once again, welcome to the morning call. Opposition candidates in Mauritania are challenging the results of last Saturday's presidential election. They are accusing the government of carrying out an electoral holdup to impose its candidate, General Mohamed Ould Gazwani, in the first round of polls. At a press conference on Wednesday, the four candidates, Kane Hamidou Baba, Sidi Mohamed Ould Bubakar, Biram Dab Abid, and Mohamed Ould Mauloud say President Mohamed Ould Abdelaziz's government is responsible for the post-electoral crisis the country is going through that has led to the massive arrests of their supporters. The Electoral Commission declared last week the government-backed candidate Gazwani won the presidency with 52% 50, 50, of the votes. Exactly, Lynette. While the opposition can text the results of the June 22nd presidential elections, as well as the electoral holdup, France welcomes the victory of the candidate in power, and the opposition is denouncing this, saying it's an attempt to fuel the fire. And to talk more on this, we are joined by Mr. Buka Umaba. He is the European spokesman of the opposition party coming from Strasbourg. Good morning, sir. Thank you for being with us this morning. So tell us, what is the current situation in Mauritania? So what is happening today in Mauritania is that following the elections of June 22nd, during which the military candidate, who is the runner-up of the outgoing candidate, Mr. Razouani, lost the elections in favor of the opposition. The military simply chose to disrupt the situation. Encore une fois, de voler aux Mauritaniens l'expression de leur euh, vote. Donc nous sommes dans une situation post-électorale. So today we are in an extremely tense post-electoral time, all the more tense as leaders have chosen to show their empower by massively arresting foreign nationals and putting them in prison. En arrêtant massivement des ressortissants étrangers et toujours ceux de l'Afrique noire, En les mettant en prison, le ministre des Affaires étrangères... The Minister of Foreign Affairs yesterday summoned the diplomatic representatives of Mali, Senegal and Gambia to inform them that they wanted their nationals to stop mixing with the demonstrators, though this has never been an issue before. The demonstrations were carried out by Mauritanians who are very unhappy with what has happened and who are fed up with this regime, the system, the racism that has been going on for 40 years. And as an opposition, how far do you intend to go in what appears to be a, a power struggle with the authorities? So there's two routes presented before us, and they're both legal. There is the appeal procedure, which is a recourse registered within the framework of the electoral procedure, that is to say, to context this with the electoral commission. The other possibility is to follow the people, accompany them, and support them in their demonstrations. So it means we can contest the results, we can demonstrate and carry out a real media and diplomatic offensive to make it known what is really going on in Mauritania and to show the true intentions of the military regime and to ensure that the international pressure is exerted on the supporters of this regime so that they stop considering Mauritania as a toy. Et le peuple n'en veut pas, donc il faut qu'il l'entende. Donc nous, opposition, nous sommes déterminés au côté du peuple mauritanien. So we, the opposition, are determined alongside the Mauritanian people to go all the way in challenging the results and to make this independence known to the international public. So what do you recommend uh, happen in this situation? devant le Conseil constitutionnel. Vous en tant qu'opposition, qu'est-ce que vous préconisez? So we are advocating for several things. We call on the Mauritanian people to reject this political scam and to be more determined than ever not to accept that they will be diverted another way. So we ask them to continue mobilization and always be determined to be on their side. On the other hand, as I said before, we're going to challenge 
what is really happening through the electoral code in Mauritania. And at the same time, we're going to launch a real media and diplomatic offensive so that Mauritania's partners know that they are now supporting a regime that is preparing for ethnic cleansing. So in this context, I am very happy to be able to speak on this channel so that the speech can be heard and so that serious events taking place inside Mauritania today can be known by the world and can be brought to light and the attention of the international community. Something crucial is being prepared, so the independent channels must be able to go through their correspondence and talk about what Mauritania can no longer tolerate. Pour que cela soit relié à l'opinion internationale.